doing today? It's a Friday, the 5th of July. We have a new government. <laughs> what do you think? Drop it in the comments down below with your thoughts. I'm always interested to hear what you think about. Um, so yeah, if you're new, welcome. My name is Marcia. I am 53. I'm on a weight loss journey. I'm on Manjaro and I'm now in week seven of that. So that is amazing. So yeah, five milligrams at the minute. Um, if you're returning, thank you. How are you all doing? Um, I'm just loving reading all of your comments and hearing your stories and what you're all up to and how you're getting on, honestly. Thank you so much for sharing here. And like, if you all want to chat to each other in the comments as well, honestly, do. I'm sure, like, the more the merrier. I'm sure people that, like, I know, like, when I comment on someone's video and then if someone else, like, responds to my comment, it's quite nice just to have, like, that bit of communication. So feel free to chit chat amongst yourselves. Um, so plans for today, yes, it's Friday again. Where's, I don't know where this week's gone, it's flying by. So I've got the first load of washing out on the line already. Um, just with it being a nice day, it's still quite breezy, but the sun's out and it's warm. It, it feels quite nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go up to Monk's Cross. That's like a, an out of town retail park. So there's a few shops there that I wanna nip into, like there's like Primark, New Look, there's River Island, there's Asda, so there's like George in there, which is pretty good. Um, TK Maxx, there's quite a lot of stuff there. So I just wanna go because I wanna get some new knickers, maybe a couple of little bras, or little bras, big bras, <laughs> smaller bras, um, and maybe get some sandals or something, and maybe a couple of vest tops. I don't be like buying loads for my holidays. To be honest, I've got plenty of clothes that are gonna do me, but it's just always nice to have something like new just to take. Um, my dresses all seem kind of seem okay, so I'm not gonna buy any dresses, I'm, I'm sorted. I do like to wear a dress on an evening on holiday, but I've tried some on today, and the ones I took to Turkey last September fit beautifully, if better than before. One of them's bordering on being like way too big. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they feel really, really nice. Bearing in mind when I went to Turkey, I'd been on Slimming World and I'd just done, was it 10 days of SP? I have got all those as vlogs if you want to go see them, so you can go check those out. But um, so yeah, I think I was probably at my best weight I'd been in ages when I went to Turkey. But now, um, like the, there's one dress in particular I wore on holiday and I was like very booby in it. And it just fits, I tried it on this morning, it fits so lovely and there's like loads of room to spare across the chest. So that's like amazing. Um, but yes, I've got lots of dresses. There's a few that I've not been able to wear for ages, put them on, I thought, oh yeah, they fit. A couple that fit, but I thought, mm, they'd maybe be better with another half stone off or so, you know, so I can pack them away for maybe um, another few weeks for hopefully when the weather gets better here in the UK and then I can wear them then. So yeah, I just need some undies, some sandals, some vest tops, a pair of sandals. And we'll just have a look about the shop this, and just see what's what. I need to get a mascara. And I think maybe that's it. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I've had my breakfast already this morning. Let me just insert a clip of that here now. Guess what I'm having for breakfast? Finished off this scabby fruit. So there was only 130 grams of skier left. It reckons it's like 450 in the whole pack. So um, well, I've had 150 the last two days. So yeah, 130 grams of skier. I've got 30 grams of blueberries. They were just dreadful finishing off. And 55 grams of strawberries. I'm gonna have my Actimel. Um, I've been forgetting to have these. So yeah, I'm gonna have that. Just obviously really good for your gut health, along with two multivitamin gummies. My washing machine's about to spin. So I'm just gonna, Scoot off quickly, guys, and I'll come back and have a little chat after this. So here are my Weight Watcher protein and fruit and veg totals using the Weight Watcher GLP-1 part of the app, followed by the traditional Weight Watcher points. So um, my breakfast has gone up a little bit on points, calories, and protein because I've got my Actimel in, but it's still a very low calorie breakfast with lots of protein. So yeah, as usual, I just my berries and skier and your and um, I was gonna say yogurt, not yogurt and honey, um, and I've forgotten to I've not been taking my um like Actimel 
you know so i've been you know like your probiotics so i've been i've had one of those today as well so i think they're like 70 something calories um it'll be on the the tracker at the end of each section anyway so um it kind of bumps up the breakfast a little bit but gosh it's still under 300 calories so i am not going to complain about that plus i think it's really important to have a good gut health particularly um whilst you're on Munjaro or any glp one because it can play havoc havoc i can't speak today um, it can play havoc um, with your gut and stuff. So yeah, um, feeling fine today. I woke with a very slight headache this morning, um, but that I didn't need to take anything for it. And I was probably just a little bit dehydrated maybe, and that's gone by itself. And other than that, I'm feeling really well. Da, da, da. I would do a little tap dance, but I will Glenn said my boobs look very perky today. <laughs> That's blurts for you. And um, other than that, that is the latest news update so far. Right then, I am going to go. The washing's hung out. Let's go get up to Monk's Cross and do a little bit of retail therapy. Let's go shopping. We're here. Not that you can see anything, but yeah, let's go. Spot me walking into the clothes. <laughs> It is boiling, I think it's about 23 degrees, what's happened? I've just picked up, I'm starving, it's two o'clock, so I've just got egg and crust sandwich from Asda. That is 338 cows, got some pop chips, and they're 100 calories, and then just some, some get more of it, it's just some water, um, mango and passion fruit, five cows, so that looks all right. Let me just shut the, oh, sorry, here there. Oof. I am going to turn on, let me just get my aircon on, pull my neck. It is roasty. I need to just go to next. Let me turn my radio down. Um, I need to just go to next because when we were at Meadowhall a couple of weeks ago, oh, sorry. When we were at Meadowhall a couple of weeks ago, Glenn saw a shirt he liked, but he didn't have his size. So we're hoping they've got one in and hopefully I can remember what shirt it was. So I'm just going to go there now and apparently the traffic blends just rang me to say the traffic on the way home is horrific and I'm probably not going to get out because everyone's heading to the coast for the weekend because it's so nice. So um, I may need an alternative route home. I just want to get home now. But I'm um, feeling much better when, than when I arrive. So yeah, I'm just going to grab this tweet really quickly and then get to next. And then I was going to look, I haven't tried any causes on yet. So I'll maybe see if there's some there. If not, I might go to Peacocks tomorrow because I'm just, maybe I just need to try on what I've got. <laughs> maybe. Um, right. Anyway, let me eat this. And I'll grab you in a bit. So the egg mayo, um, quite a bit of protein in it, really. Not too bad. I didn't eat my pop chips either. And I hardly drank any of the water, so I won't count those five calories. Um, here are the Weight Watch points. That seems very low, I think. But um, hmm, who knows? And then here are the calories just for the sandwich pack as well. So yeah, that was my lunch. Oh guys, what have I done? <laughs> I've just got home. It's quarter past three. Just taking my trends off. Somewhere in all that, the sun's come out and I'm absolutely boiling now. Um, so I had a great time actually. Um, it, it's really interesting just because Losing a bit of weight, it just changes your whole mindset. And like shopping is not so awful now. And um, there's something really nice about picking up your, your normal size and then thinking, oh, I'll get a smaller size and try that on and see what it's like. And then you end up buying the smaller size. It's like, it's fab. <laughs> um, I ended up buying quite a few things actually. Uh, but I didn't buy any dresses and I said I was quite happy and I didn't need any dresses and I didn't but I have bought like a few tops a few shorts um knickers bras which is what I was going for but then interestingly I bought like loads of like just like fashion jewelry like earrings like big earrings and things um and I've not done that for years and I just think it's because I'm feeling better about myself. Isn't it weird? Um, I've got some nice, a few pairs of shoes as well. Um, I'll show you a couple of bits. I might, I don't know whether to do another video or not. Like just showing the things I've bought. But then I'll just show you these. These were um, really, really nice. 
sale. These were reduced. They were meant to be £28 and they're reduced to 19 And I thought they'd just be, they're really comfy actually. I know they look a bit clunky, but everyone's kind of wearing these, aren't they, at the moment? And they're very comfy. I thought they'd be nice just for like mooching about um, at home, but also on holiday or if we're just like, just going out for a little walk or something. And then I got these heels for a night. I, I do like wearing heels on a night time if I can. Um, and these were reduced as well. They were meant to be £33 and they're down to 17 And they are so nice on the wide fit. I mean, my feet actually have um, got a lot narrower, but these are so nice on. And then they're not too high and they're chunky. And because they're wide, I mean, there's plenty of room in them now like the width wise so I thought like in the heat if my feet are swollen or anything they'll still be really comfy um yeah and I just thought they were I just like the design it's a bit like the some little sliders that you're getting at the minute isn't it but I thought for 17 quid it'd be rude not to I'll just show you now whilst we're here I've got this top um it's like a little knitted vest I thought that was really nice. It's got splits up the sides. So that'd be nice either just with shorts, a little skirt. Could be nice with some linen trousers. I got that. It's a 14. Okay, yay me. And it's £12.99. Um, but I thought that was just really pretty. It'd be nice as well just at home in the daytime. Um, I got these T-shirts were two T-shirts for... Oh, for fourteen pounds or thirteen pounds, I think. Have I bought the same ones? Make. I'm hoping because one says two for fourteen pounds, the other one says two, and it says it in euros. But I'm sure they. Were, oh, two for fourteen pounds. I saw the euro sign. So yeah, these are like mix and match. Um, I actually went to my old size in these. I tried them both on, and because they're quite clingy anyway so i thought i could just get the bigger size the smaller size was just a bit because i've got big boobs it didn't they didn't quite i don't know i didn't like how it sat this one still is doesn't feel big on and um, so it's just like a nice basic stripey vest it's a really nice quality these ones and then just a real basic just brown vest top they're just handy again and i'm about to wear these at home right through summer I couldn't resist these shorts. Um, they reduced, meant to be £26. I wouldn't have paid that. Down to 16 Look how cute these are. And they're elasticated waist. And I got them in a 14 um, And they're just really pretty. So they're dead comfy. And they're kind of like a little crinkly material. Quite short. But um, they're bit, again, they're a bit nice at home. Nice on holidays. But I thought they're quite... Quite nice looking. Then these are all from New Look. Just got a few basics, just some slides. I got a little three pack of hoops and little sparkly ones just for a night. I'm thinking about probably having my hair up and ponytail a lot or a bun and things. So these were $7.99. The slides were $3.99. I got those. I thought they were really cute. They actually had a matching necklace for that. They're $2.99. And then I got some of those i thought they were quite nice looking and they were five pounds and they're silver plated still not silver and then i clearly was on an earring thing i don't know what's wrong with me i haven't bought earrings for years and um and these were also well these were three pounds but i just i don't know i'm just kind of wanting i'm just feeling better about myself and i just want to look nice and I think that's a real positive because, like I say, it's been ages since I felt this way. So um, I'm just rolling with it. So that was from New Look. Um, these are so nice on. I'm really happy I've got them. Really nice. And those are super comfy. Now, these, as I say, were down at 19 quid. And they are actually quite nice and they feel like really, I'm assuming they're not leather at the uppers. No, man-made, but they, they, they feel really nice on. I was surprised, actually. But in Primark, I picked these up around the pool. I've just knocked my utensils over. I picked these up around the pool. Where are they? At the bottom now. 
and they were all reduced. They had lots of different colours and things. And you honestly just can't go wrong. So, I mean, if you've got kids, they'll probably love these. There's loads of different colours and, and sort of styles and designs. Two quid from... I actually haven't tried them on. Um, they were meant to be £7 down to two pounds so i've got a pair of black ones like i said these are just for around the pool and a pair of like these kind of like beigey ones and again they were two pounds as well i mean absolute bargain aren't they so obviously they're not as nice as the new look ones but yeah they're, they're fine i got this little bag for because on the night time when you go down to the back, you haven't got all your stuff with you, do you? I just tend to have my phone, um, usually a bit of perfume, like I have an atomizer which I fill up, so a bit of perfume, like a lipstick or a lip gloss, maybe my hand cream or, or um, a chapstick or something. But So I got this, it's a really nice little puffy padded bag. So you've got a little bit in here where you can sort of just maybe keep your room key or your lipstick, and then obviously your phone will go in here. This looks it like inside. Oh, there's a little um, pocket as well inside there. So, yeah, I mean, I thought that was, it was quite nice. It's got like a little sort of metal bit on the strap, plus then like a bigger strap. I mean, it's only for holidays. So I don't think I'd use it at home. But um, that was six quid from Primark. Um, and the main thing I got from Primark, I got a load of vests. You know, it's like in the daytime, like you're just shoving a vest on over your cosy, or you just gone out for a walk. You don't have to worry about getting sun cream on them because they're just nice and cheap. And so I just picked up a lot. I haven't tried these. I got the larges because the large is 14 to 16. So I got like just literally loads of colours. I got this kind of like beigey coloured one. I got a mint one. Because then I just thought if I've got skirts and shorts upstairs, these will all go with it as well. So just like a little mint one two pounds a lemon one <laughs> buy one in every color um they had ones with slightly thicker straps um but obviously it's, it's nice to get a bit of sunshine um and i got like a really sort of pale sort of stony put more beige than the other one the other one was more of a, a tan i suppose you can see the difference in the colors there um just some neutrals they didn't have a black in the large at all. So I got an extra large, which says it's an 18 to 20. Um, I don't know what that'll be like. If it's really big and gapy, then my bad. But um, I think it might be all right. I hope them other ones go over my boobs. I'm sure they will. Um, a black one and like a nice sort of like corally one as well. So I thought they were great. So yeah, I think two pounds is a regular price. Now, the quality on them doesn't seem bad. Um, I did go into Asda after Primark and Asda have got like basic vests like this for three pounds. Um, the quality seemed fine. Oh, that's interesting. The black one has got adjustable straps. All the rest don't. And the black one was still two pounds. Well, that's quite handy because if it is a bit bigger, I can adjust the straps and bring it up a bit. So that's good. Um, I got a baseball cap because I like to wear a baseball cap on holidays. I have my hair in a ponytail, you know, stick my cap on, keep the sun off. But I thought this is quite nice. Um, Long Island, New York. And it was four pounds. I got a little pair of shorts. I couldn't resist them. <laughs> I just saw them and I thought, oh, like virtually every single t-shirt I bought will go with this. They look pretty, but these are medium, which says it's a 12-14. They look pretty big, I thought. Um, I am going to Rome in September, so they'll probably do me then, but if not, they'll just do me about the house on a hot day. But they're very summery, aren't they? And um, they're only light, and again, it might just be nice just to fling on on top of your cosy or whatever. But um what did I say? They were seven pounds. They had like little tops as well to go with this and uh, swimwear and things. So it seemed like a bit of a range of them. I've got some of these already, but I've broken them and they were different colours. They're just handy, just little um, hair bands. They're really good. I like these ones, with, like the little comb bits in that just sort of keep your hair all back. So I've just got like the nudie version of them. So two of those were just £2.50. 
I got some just like nudie bobbles, just like the cloth ones, just because they're a bit more comfy and I think they're a bit kinder to your hair. They don't snag it as much as the elastics, especially if you're in the pool and things and it's wet. So how many have we got in here? 20 and £2.50. And then I just got a load of knickers. I've got no idea what these are going to be like. Never had these ones before from Primark. Um, but I could do with getting rid of a load of my knickers anyway. So I've got the invisible ones just because I've got shorts and things like that. And they're nice and thin. So I don't know what they'll be like. I've got them in a large. These are 14 to 16. So yeah, I don't want pants that are too small. And they're cheap enough where that is, if they start to get a bit big, I can just bin them and get some new ones. So six pounds a pack. So these ones are the invisible minis. They had like the Brazilian ones. They've got hipster ones, all sorts, like without these sort of seams. So they're a bit, you get no VPL. So I got um, a three pack of black. I got a three pack of like these kind of like nudie ones. But there's like a, they're quite nice colours actually. It's almost like an aubergine, a beige, and then... What would you call that? A dusky, like a dusky rose? I don't know. Um, so I got three pack of them. And then I got a three pack of these. So it's just like two white and one nude, just in case I've got like some white shorts or something. But like the nudie ones in these, you can wear under white things as well. They kind of tend to look a bit better than just white, I think. So yeah, nine pairs of knickers. Let's hope they're all right. <laughs> they were all, I've got my thumb stuck, got my thumb stuck. Oh my God, I've actually, I had that <laughs> So yeah, they're okay. Um, I went into Asda. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll just go to Asda because I've got some brows from Asda before. And, and our Asda now, since COVID, they've had no changing rooms. They've got rid of all the changing rooms. Um, so it's a bit of a pain now with brows. So I thought, well, these other bras I've got, they were like t-shirt bras or something, I thought they were absolutely fine, but they're a bit big on the back. Um, I got them a few months ago, but they they quite they lift up quite well and things, you know. So I thought, well, I'll get them in a size down and um, see how we go. But of course, whilst I was there, I got distracted. So I thought, well, let's just get, I don't mind buying like the elasticated shorts, because I think hopefully as I shrink over the summer, they should do. So I just got a pair of these like little um, khaki, Coloured, well, it was khaki, sagey shorts. They're very floaty. It should be nice and cool, I think. Um, I quite like wearing shorts through the day on holiday, little shorts and a vest top. So the this one was full price, eight pounds though, that's all. Um, they've got a huge sale on in Asda at the minute in George. I saw these, I just thought these were really pretty. She said little black and white ones. You could even wear them on a night time if you wanted. You know, like a little pair of heels, get your bit of tan on, nice little top. Um, six pounds, um, again, these are all in 14s, elasticated waist, and there looks to be plenty of room, I think, in them. And then these were beautiful. Um, I really like these, they're almost like a, like a linen. And again, I got these in a, Tell me I got them in a 14. Yes, but these ones were 14 pounds, but I just think they're really nice. Um, I really, really like them. Um, what did I get? Now, I saw these bras. I think these ones might be a little bit too small for me, actually, but they were in the sale and it was a three pack of bras down to eight quid. So they are 34, which I'd be, and the minute I've got like a G in Asda, if I go to Bravissimo, I'm bigger than that. But these ones kind of don't give me six boobs or anything. I seem okay in them. So this, I think, might be doing me towards the end of the summer. But it's just a little three pack. And they've got like a black one, like a brown one. And then this like little leopard one, which is quite fun. And um, they're really nice fitting bras. They give you quite a good shape, I think. So um, they're not bad, but for eight quid, did I say? I just thought I can't turn them down. I'll just keep them to one side and they should probably fit me. If they don't fit me now, they'll fit me in a little bit. But yeah, those were the 34F. And then I just picked up 34G because so at the minute I've got 36Gs, but they're just like, they're on the tightest strap around and I just feel like I can probably do with going down a band size. So literally just a nude, a white and a black bra. Um, these are £15 for the triple packs. You can get them individual. They've got some really fun colours actually, like cerise pink, um, like electric blue, bright green. There's a yellow. 
um, and you, I think they were six pounds each. I could get two for 10 quid, which kind of works out the same as the multi-pack because obviously these are 15 quid for three. Um, so yeah, there's some really fun ones. I was going to get some, but I thought, well, actually, I don't need them. And the day to day, like that pretty much covers every eventuality. So I got that. Oh, God. And so then I came down the escalator because uh, George, uh, as there are, George is upstairs. And then I saw this hung up on the sail rail. I have got a problem. Um, but it was only four pounds. Isn't that pretty? Like a little floaty vest top. And I love the colour. What a beauty. I really like green. I don't wear it very often. But like, what a lovely colour that is. I just think it's so nice. Um, I'm not sure if it'll fit me or not. Um, it is a 14. Sometimes with this type, I need a 16. But then... Equally, if it's the sixties are too big, you get that gaping bit, don't you? Um, at the the arm. So yeah, I'd be happy if it's even if it's too small, it'll fit me in a couple of months. Um, picked up my lunch. I didn't eat my pop chips. They're still there, so that's good. And then finally, Glenn asked me to go to next, as you know, to go get my shirt. Couldn't find it, by the way. So I thought let's have a little look for some things. Let's finish so Pick this up. It was um. Some really nice patterned ones, but the style just didn't suit me. I didn't like it. So I've got this. I think it's a Myling class one. And it's meant to be, I think, I don't know if this is a tummy one or not. There's a lot of them that I've got, like, tummy control in. So if you're looking for a swimsuit, they're, like, about 38 quid. But they've got lots with tummy control in. But look at this. I thought it was really nice. So, the like, the, um, like the bust, like, the neck is really lovely. So it's, like, a nice plunge. But then look at the back. Hang on a minute. How beautiful is that back? So it's like a double strap coming over the top, going down to a crisscross with the like ring. As long as that doesn't get red hot in the sun, I'll be okay. Tried it on and um, it's really nice, actually. Really nice. Um, they had like a green and a white one. And that was also, it was a 14 hanger, but when I looked at it, it was a size 10. So I'm so pleased I checked the actual sort of swimsuit. Um, but then I'm pleased actually they didn't have another one this style in a different colour because I'd have bought it. And the £38 each, and I don't need two new swimsuits. I'll just make do with one of my old ones. But I just really like this. I think it's really lovely. I'm clearly loving black and white at the minute. <laughs> So, yeah, that, isn't it lovely? Just notice they've got no um, sticky thing on their gusset. You know, normally you get a little sticky thing. Hmm, never mind. But um, there we go. That's everything I got. Glenn's home soon. <laughs> go hide it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go make a cup of tea. I'm absolutely shattered. So I'll catch it in a little bit. I've had such a great time, honestly. It's been fantastic. It is an evening of football, apparently. Um, so that is Glenn sorted. <laughs> I am gonna come in and make dinner. It is quarter past five. So we're gonna have these gammon steaks. These are what I picked up the other day, Tesco. So I will show cured, unsmoked gammon steaks. I had no idea how to cook them in the air fryer, so I've just checked in my little ninja book. And it said, for gammon steaks, 190 on air fry for 10 to 12 minutes and just snip like the rind every two centimeters that'll just prevent it curling and it said to turn after five minutes so oh, i'd say you can brush with oil but we won't be able to doing that and um, i have got some spray on though so i might i might do one i might do glens with that and mine without and we can compare and see how they look i'm um, going to be doing some new potatoes with it Glenn wants some mushy peas. So he's going to mushy peas because he didn't have that with his fish yesterday. So he wants mushy peas, potatoes, gammon. I'll probably just have potatoes, gammon, maybe just like a little bit of um, side salad to go with it as well. And then um, happy days. I wish I'd got some. Oh, I wonder if I've got an egg with it. Ooh, it might just be nice like gammon and egg and potato. See if Glenn wants an egg. I might have a fried egg with mine. So yeah, I'll show you what they'll turn out like. And per gammon, so they're 230 gram steaks. Steaks? Yeah, gammon steak. I was thinking, is that the right word? And it says here, each one has got 316 calories, typically. 
and 43 grams of protein so that's very good indeed see you in a little bit guys and it goes without saying that the new potatoes are grown by moi from one's very own allotment so that means they're going to be absolutely chef's kish kish <laughs> chef's kiss that was a total fail delete 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 and here is mine so i've actually just um, cut the gammon in half and just stacked it just on my plate. Um, 180 grams of cooked potatoes today. This is for my reference for when I'm tracking it later. Just chopped up some tomato and cucumber, a little drizzle of sour cream over the top. I'm going to pop a bit of salt and pepper on my potatoes and salad bits. Yeah, and that's it. So, looks pretty nice. Here's Glenn's plate of vomit. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed my dinner. Now, I didn't eat all my potatoes, so I have um, adjusted the weight for them, which obviously then adjusts the points and the calories and everything else. But such oh, a delicious, delicious dinner. That gammon steak was beautiful. So yeah, I'd recommend giving them a go. Definitely worth the calories in my opinion. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, penalty shootout and protein shake. Which is better? <laughs> Glenn needs Portugal to win because they're in his sweet. He's got the sweepstake for them for work. So, yay, Portugal! No sweepstake winnings for Glenn. Ooh. So just the usual um twenty grams of protein for my. Um, chocolate protein shake from Aldi and the points for that are five points it's definitely worth it just as a way of getting some more protein into your diet and it's a really nice little chocolate fix late on the night Um, 180 calories as we already know and um, nothing much has changed there so let's look at the totals for today so as you can see I've absolutely smashed my protein goal 98 grams of protein today Um, I'm still not tracking my water on here I'm really sorry and I am down on my water if I was tracking my Weight Watcher points I would just have used all my dailies with a few weeklies so that's totally acceptable and here is the breakdown of my different meals along with total of calories so you can see they're under 1200 calories all day and um, here are a few of my macros as well I really need to try and up my fiber intake actually that's maybe something I can work on going forwards um, a much happier looking pie chart. I'm really happy with the distribution over that over the day. Um, a lot better than the, the past few days. And so, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you didn't mind seeing my little shopping haul in the middle. But for now, take care and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.